Hello friends, welcome back to our channel DS Tech Mirror. Topic for today's video is AI Copilot in Microsoft Power Apps. Copilot is the new feature released by Microsoft in Power Apps. This feature is still in preview mode. In today's videos, we will learn what are the prerequisites to activate the Copilot in your environment. Then we will see what is Copilot in Power Platform environment, how we can create an app using Copilot, and what is a Copilot control in Canvas app. So we will see all these things. So let's get started. First, I will cover what are the prerequisites for the Copilot. In case you are interested to activate this feature in your personal environment or development environment, these are the prerequisites which must be fulfilled. Let's go through them one by one. First is environment must be in the US region. If your environment is outside of the US region, you are not eligible to get this feature right now this feature is only applicable for the environments in the us region next is the your environment must have a microsoft dataverse database in your environment if your environment does not have microsoft dataverse database then this feature is not eligible for you next is ai builder must be enabled in the environment and also you need to apply for this feature from this link so we will see all these steps one by one first uh, I will cover environment must be in the US region I'll go to my power apps so this is my environment called copilot demo in this environment this feature is enabled in other environment this feature is not enabled because these environments are outside the US region if I go to admin center from here I'll go to the environments and you can see the region so copilot demo belongs to the united states region and all the other environment belongs to the india region so if your environment is outside the us region so what you can do you can go ahead and create a new environment in the us region you can click on new and then select an environment if you want this feature for the exploration purpose or for the learning purpose what you can do you can create a developer environment choose the environment name and then it is already enabled add a dataverse data store and you can go ahead name the environment and you can go ahead and create this environment once you will create the environment then we will complete the next set of steps to get this copilot in your environment next is the have a microsoft dataverse database this also i have covered while creating the environment in the us region make sure dataverse database is enabled next is the ai builder must be enabled for the environment so what you have to do once the environment is created, go to your environment, go to settings, under product, you have to go to features and then you have to enable all these features for the copilot. First is you have to enable the copilot, allow canvas editor to get AI powered answers to how to question an AI builder GPT experience, you have to enable this feature, enable this AI builder feature. You have to enable both these features to get the copilot in your environment. You can find this link directly from this uh, description box for this video as well otherwise go to your environment settings and feature next is you need to apply for the copilot right now it is available in the limited preview request in the preview also it is not available for all the environments so what you need to do click on this link you can find this link in the description box below to get the link what i'll do i'll click on this edit hyperlink and this is the link and you have to request for the copilot and from this link what you have to do click on next click on next all these are the important information then what you have to do you have to give your first name last name organization email address organization name tenant id and organization id so how you will get your tenant and the id and the organization id i will tell you go to your tenant this is your copilot demo click on this go to settings and from here click on session details from the session details you will get your tenant id this is your tenant id and this is your organization id so share both the organization id and the tenant id for the environment on which you want to enable the copilot and which is in the us region along with dataverse database so all these three things should be enabled and then when this is done you have to share which of the following applies to you you can give any of the option which is applicable for you and what is your intended use of the generated AI capabilities you can mention for the learning purpose are you willing to sign you can say yes or no and then you have to give your consent once this is done your request will be submitted and you can come back and check if your copilot is enabled for your environment so once it is enabled you will also get an email 
Now let's move forward. Next is what is Copilot in Power Platform? See, Power Platform Copilot brings the power of AI, that is artificial intelligence, to keep both app maker as well as the app and users. When develop an app using Copilot by default, first can have Copilot powered experience. So what this Copilot is doing, it is bringing the power of AI, that is artificial intelligence, for both developer as well as for the end users. This we will see now. Uh, I will go back to my environment. So once the copilot is enabled in your environment, how you will come to know on the home page in this banner, you will see this welcome your name and describe what your new app should do. This again in the bracket, you can see this is a preview feature. So this is your AI generated copilot. And as a next setting, uh, it is mentioned is create an app from conversation. So what you can do, what are the app you want? Just describe it over here, give a brief description and it will do the basic things for you. What it will do? Let's try and see. So what I will do, I will try to create uh, one app over here. Let's say pharmacy management. I, I will say I want to create an app for the pharmacies management store and I will submit my query to this AI that is Copilot. It will take some time. You will see over here it is you know setting the things for us. So actually what it will do, it will create a table for this particular request in the database. And in this page you can see it has created a table called pharmacy management store. So these are the different pharmacy ID. These are the pharmacy name, address of the pharmacies, phone number, email address and website of the different pharmacies. So it has created this basic table for us. Now over here we have this called copilot. What we can do if you are not satisfied with this table, we can add we, we can add new column, we can delete some column, we can delete a row. There are certain suggestions on the left which are available. For example, add a column 4, add a row 4, remove the row, change the data type, refresh the data. So these are the basic suggestions which are available for us and we can modify this table with the help of as a conversation we can modify this table. So what I can do, I can say add five more records. Let's see if this statement, this copilot will understand and I will submit. And you can see it has added five more records. So this is the power of AI. Before this, otherwise if we have to add some dummy data, we have to do it manually or we have to upload it through Excel or some other way. Now with the help of just conversation, we can, you know, this will create a table for us. I can also give it a try remove the last row from the table. This will take some time. If you have observed, it has deleted the last row from this particular table. Once you are satisfied with the table, what you can do, you can click on this create app button and with this data, with this table, which is a dataverse table. So now you should understand why this dataverse database is mandatory because this copilot by default is creating a table in Dataverse. So what we can do, I can click on create app. Now it will take some time and this will create the basic app for us. Once this is done, we will go through the app and we will see what next is there for us in this AI world. So these are the uh, basic steps which I mentioned in my slide also with that we can build app using natural language processing. There's an AI assistant in the home screen. Describe your requirement to the AI and it will develop the app for you. It will create the backend dataverse database table as well. This is what we have seen. We, we can review the dataverse table. We can modify the table using natural language. If the table is okay, it will create the app. Basic data analysis can be done. This we will see and copilot control also we will see. So I think uh, this app is getting created. So over here you can see it has created this one screen app for us. If I click on this play button, what I can see on the left, I can see all the pharmacies entry. If I click on them, I can see the detail of the pharmacy on the right. At the top, I have the option to, uh, you know, modify the records and I can update it. Also, I have an option to delete it. So let's give it a try. Uh, I'll select this ABC pharmacy and I'll say, I will click on it and I will say NHP pharmacy. Pharmacy ID and other things I will not change because I just wanted to show you if it is working. I'll 
click on this button and you can see it got updated in the backend in the dataverse database table which got created for us now let's see what are these different controls which it has used if i select this this is a gallery control on the right side i can see this is a form on the top this is a simple label and then these buttons we, i have one edit button and delete button in the edit button you could see it is using this uh, local variable called update context select record whatever the record which we have selected selected record and edit mode true so basically what it is doing the moment i click on the edit button it is updating my local variable called uh, selected record and it is also uh, uh, passing this edit mode as true so once i'll click on this edit i have this icon called uh, check icon on click of it i have this called submit form which is submitting my form and updating the records so over here you can see the moment i click on this cross icon this uh, edit mode got disabled and the same thing uh, in the formula also it is doing if i select this cross icon we could see reset form it will reset the form if i made some changes and i do not want to save them to the database what it is doing it is reset the form it will update the local variable it will set the edit mode to false and new mode also to false so these are the basic formulas over here if i want to create a new record over here i can click on this icon called new and it will open the new form for me and new mode it will set it, set it as true so if i click on this plus icon so this will come up this is the new mode it has set it as true and this form has come up and using this i can create more entries in my table another important thing is by default it has created a responsive app you could see uh, this copilot has used this containers horizontal containers and vertical container if you are not uh, aware about the containers this is outside the scope of this video i will create a separate video to explain you the responsive features so right now just i will show you this is a responsive app if i will resize my browser you could see all the controls are getting adjusted to the new width and height so this is a responsive app so this is a very useful thing which microsoft has did us with the help of just natural language copilot is setting this basic app for us we can make use of this uh, container to create the responsive app on the top of this screen so now let's go ahead and see what is the copilot control because in my slide i have mentioned copilot so what i can do there's a new control which is available and i can add that control into my app i will click on this new screen and i will create a blank screen and i will name this screen as copilot i will say copilot control now let's see how we can add i will go to insert i will say copilot it is not available because you have to enable this for your app you have to go to settings upcoming features search for copilot copilot component and now i'll go back to insert copilot and now i you could see again this is a preview mode feature and i will add this now we will understand what is this copilot control now to this copilot control we have to share a database so ours is this table called pharmacy management store i will select it and this will connect this control with our table it got connected now we will see how it is useful for us let me go to the play mode now in my slide i have mentioned two things copilot control so this is the copilot control other thing is basic data analysis can be done by using this copilot control now using this copilot i can ask questions related to my database how many different pharmacies and these are the basic suggestions so how many different pharmacies are represented in this data set if i click on it let's see so there are four different pharmacies represented in this data set what it is saying there are four unique pharmacies other you know there are around nine entries so others are duplicate entries so these are the basic data analysis which i can do uh, using this copilot control this will get more and more uh, you know power in future but this is a very useful control and which is going to be very uh, you know very powerful in the near future at the top i have this called restart the conversation button if i click on it this conversation will get deleted now let me try i will ask what is the phone number of nhp 
pharmacy. If you remember, I have updated one record with this name called NHP and I will enter my query. Let's see if, if this co-pilot will be able to answer and it has just answered the phone number of NHP pharmacy is this, this, this. So these are the basic data analysis and basic queries which you can do with the help of this copilot control. So I'll go back to my app. I'll select this copilot and there are other things. So from the property section, you can see you need to select the data source. After this data source, you can enter the title. Let me increase the zoom size just to make sure it is visible to you. If I'm able to enter, let's say pharmacy AI or pharmacy I will say chat with pharmacy control. Let's say chat with pharmacy control. That's it. And at the top, you are able to change this title. Now I can give this data summary also. Ask questions related to different pharmacies. This is the data summary. After that, I can also change the placeholder text. I can say I will put the same value for the placeholder text. And you could see this placeholder text got changed over here from for this text box and then the position size and display mode and other tooltip other features are available for this also. As part of the data source, I can also select different data sources like SharePoint table and different connectors are available over here. I can select my SharePoint table also and for this also it will do the same job. So guys as part of this video I have covered everything. It's time to do a quick recap what we have learned today. So we have learned today what is the copilot in Microsoft Power Apps. How you can activate this. What are the prerequisites. Your environment should be in the US region. It should have a dataverse database. It should be an AI feature must be enabled. Go to your environment settings and features. And you need to apply from this link which I have shared in the description box below. Once this is done, a, this AI copilot should be enabled for your environment. After this, what this copilot will do? If you go uh, to your environment, let me go again. The moment you are, it is enabled on the home page at the top, you could see this banner. And using this natural language processing, you can ask it to create your app. The moment you will enter any of the query, it will create a dataverse table. Once the table is created, you can review this table, you can add more dummy entries, you can delete a row, you can delete column, you can add more row column. Once this is done, you can click on create app, this will create an app for you. By default, this will be a responsive app, which will have a left gallery, then a screen for the details and at the top, there's a label and edit icon and a delete icon. With the help of these icons, you can delete a record, you can create new entry, you can delete. So basically, you can do all the CRUD operations, create, read, update and delete. Other than this, what you can do, you can add a copilot control. For this, you have to enable this uh, from the settings, from the preview features, upcoming features. Under preview, you can uh, search copilot. Once you enable this, it will add a control. You can add this control in a different screen. So it is a chat related control with the help of what it will do. It will analyze your database. You have to connect this control with your database. So I have connected it with my Dataverse table created by this uh, copilot pharmacy management store. Once this is done, it will answer your basic queries related to your database. You can ask what is the total number of pharmacies and we have seen different queries. Even it, it is able to fetch the phone numbers of the different pharmacies. So this is the chat related pharmacy control. Then we saw different properties, title, description and the placeholder text, basic properties which you can modify. So guys, uh, that's it for today's video. Microsoft has, you know, uh, simultaneously releasing, releasing this copilot in the other apps of the M365 also like SharePoint. You can even explore in that direction as well. That's it for today's video. If you like this video, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos. You can also join our group on Facebook called Modern SharePoint and you can follow me on Twitter to get all the updates from the Office 365 world. Till our next video, much love, keep learning. Thank you.